today, Nuna is going to introduce Korean snacks. So uh, maybe I can say Korea is the heaven of sweet lovers because in everywhere, every market, Korea has uh, so many different various kind of snacks and it's very delicious. The taste is awesome. And also, uh, Korea usually sell the package is very small size so you don't have to worry about what if if I eat whole packages and I get fat or so also this is very small you don't feel sorry about to live it right so here it comes first thing I introduce to you is this this is what we call go gai kon right and uh, it tastes like a um, baked uh, corn and uh, uh, the gok gai means in Korea, it means um, kaul or con. So actually this con shapes looks like this, right? Right? It's exactly look like a con shapes, right? So there's a little uh, one funny things to eat this snack. Uh, that is, uh, I'm gonna, uh, let's try to show this one. And uh, usually this, this looks like a con. So usually in Korea, the little kids uh, pick this corns in their fingers in their way and then five fingers or and then they try to eat it so uh, this gives a little small uh, biting pleasure for people so people love it for a long time okay next thing is this this is what we call kotge rang so kotge means a crab in korean and then i'm going to show you why it uh, calls it kotge rang so see that this one Ta -da! right this uh, shape is really looks like a little tiny crabs, right? And then it tastes also like exactly same as crabs, right? And then um, it's too cute, right? So if you want to try it, just welcome to Korea, right? And then this is another thing, but I want to say Korea is, as you know, maybe you don't know, but Korea is a peninsula. So it means uh, three parts of Korea is covered with the sea. So we are also having of the seafood. So if you are big level of seafood, just welcome to Korea and then you can enjoy different kinds of, you know, all kinds of seafood in Korea, right? The number three, what I want to introduce to you is takdari. Do you know what takdari means? Okay, I'm gonna give you more hints, right? So takdari, and then tak means a chicken, and tari means leg. So it means a chicken leg, right? So maybe you can say chicken food, right? But anyway, it tastes like a, and shapes like a chicken's leg, right? So I'm gonna show you this one. So when you open that box, and then you can see a little package, and then when you Here's the little packages and then you can see. See that? It really looks like a chicken legs. And then the tastes are exactly the same. You can believe me, right? And then on the box, you can see that this little cute chicken and its name is Goko. So Goko means it comes from its sounds. And then in English, we said the chicken sound, the chicken cries like a cockerel do, right? But in Korea, uh, in Korean people say the chicken sounds like a Goku, goku. So we call it goku, right? Here comes the next is ujingo tangkong. Ujingo means a squid in Korean and then tangkong is peanuts. So maybe you might think, okay, dry squid and peanuts are mixed in the package, but it looks a little bit different from what you think. Okay, here comes, I'm gonna show you the packages. It looks like this. And then can you see the little small balls in the packages? Yeah, so this is the shape. And then when you take it out, yeah, it's colors and shapes looks like a cheese ball, right? And then when you just bite this cheese ball, see that? You can see, you can find the peanuts in the shells, right? And then this hard shell tastes like a squid. So that's why people call it uh, peanuts and squid. In the West, some people usually don't eat squids for mm, beer, but in Korea, the combination with the dry squid pieces and the peanuts are one best friends for beer. So people try to a lot of it in Korea. Okay, here comes the last one. And then last one is this. You can read this one. Choco Sum E. So first two letters, choco means chocolate. And then uh, next to two letters, hongi means the pine mushroom. So you can get a hint, right? It's a chocolate snacks, but it looks like a pine mushroom. So I'm gonna show you how to, oh, you can see, checked on the packages, right? So, but I'm gonna show you how it looks like in real. So it looks like this, cute, right? 
So, uh, on a head of the mushroom is uh, covered, not covered with, it's a just whole piece of chocolate. So you can taste it. And then, yes, as you imagine, it's just a chocolate taste, right? And then every time I see this one, it feels like I'm gonna be the Super Mario. And then if I eat these mushrooms, maybe I could get more superpowers or bonuses, right? So see that. Today I introduced the Korean favorite snacks to you and then except the, these things and then there are more delicious and awesome snacks in Korea. So if you want to try it, you just come to Korea or visit Korea and uh, you will experience the heavens, right? And also in Korea, a lot of people try to these snacks with your beers or with our core beverages and especially when your pockets are empty. So also when you visit Korea and then you have a beer with your friends and then you can have this experience too. Okay, here it goes and then I'm going to come here again with another funny stories with you and then I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye!